Hi friends, my lovely late. This is your friend Moana and I came all the way here from the island of Mata Nui to read books with you. Now we couldn't come today. He's out adventuring and doing some really fun things. After we put the heart of Te Fiti back in its place, he decided to go on vacation. So I'm just going to read books with you today. Hope that's okay. Today we are going to start with a book called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Lemon. Have any of you read this before? I wonder. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. Her grandma seems really nice and smart. So she did. <gasps> what does it look like she's doing right there? I think she's sliding down the rail. That looks really fun, but we probably shouldn't try that at our homes. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stab pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big, and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. Do you know what a boa constrictor is? It's a type of snake. Do you like snakes? I don't like snakes. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. <gasps> it looks like she's singing and she's so happy. And I wonder what animal is sitting next to her. Hmm. It looks like a frog. I wonder what other animals we can find in this picture. Looks like here's a snail. We got another little frog right here. What else can you see? So she did. She sang out so loud. Do you remember what song I sing? <gasps> Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble fingered. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself, and the world will believe in you, too. So, she did. Oh my goodness, what is she doing? Do you know what this is called? It's called a unicycle. It's like a bike, but it just has one wheel. They're really hard to ride. Then, Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. That would be really hard to say goodbye to your grandma. And start in a new school. <gasps> On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. That's not very nice, huh? Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked 10 high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. I wonder what some nice things are that we could say to our friends. Hmm. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a uh, quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd make She'd made the snowflake all wrong, but Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and odd, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Maybe he's gonna be nice to her now. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Oh, look, her 
grandma's reading it. And it looks like grandma has a big black cat too. The end. Well, that was a fun book, friends. I'm so glad you came to read with me today. What do you think this book can teach us about being nice to others and being kind to our friends? If we're kind to our friends, they'll be kind to us back. So always remember that. Now I gotta head out and get back to my island of Montanui. See you later.